news, my lovely, wonderful people. It's happening. You will be surprised. 80 billion Naira fraud. Kogi kicks as EFCC include Yahaya Bello in the charge. So EFCC is seriously on Yahaya Bello after all that has happened. We know that um, Yahaya Bello was the governor of Kogi State. A lot of allegations were laid against him and Yahaya Bello himself. We saw how things have been and how things have gone and everybody you know, has been wondering what the real issue is. But as we start, as it stands at the moment, the immunity that was on him is over now. The immunity that was on him is over now, you know, and everybody's wondering, you know, what the next line of action really is. But the truth of the matter is, Yahaya Bello, you know, when they know what they knew what he did, but nobody honestly, sincerely, you know, uh, did anything or, you know, said anything because Yahaya Bello himself, okay, Yahaya Bello himself had immunity. That is what Nigerian government have done. Yahaya Bello itself, himself had immunity. So it does not matter if he does not pay any, you know, any uh, 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 government worker, if he, if he stole or Kogi's money, there was immunity on him. Now immunity is over. EFCC is going after him. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. 80 billion Naira fraud. Kogi kicks as EFCC include Yahaya Bello in his charges. Kogi state government has raised the alarm over what it described as a desperate attempt by criminals to masquerade as politicians to tarnish the image of the immediate past governor of the state, Yahaya Bello, for selfish reasons through the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, the state government said in its description, which would leave Nigerians wondering who exactly is afraid of Yahaya Bello. The EFCC has, in an amended charge, accused the former governor of, the, of delivering Kogi state government fund in September. They diverted it in September 2015, four months before he assumed the position as a governor. It said this was not only laudable, but, put, but portrayed the EFCC and as, as an agency infected with persons whose intent disagree with the noble intention of the president to relieve Nigeria of corruption. A statement signed by the Commissioner for Information in Kogi State, Kingsley, said, the foot that EFCC want to put on ground will not in any way stand because we are watching and we know exactly what is going on now. The fact that EFCC charged Yahaya Bello, Daudu Suleiman, currently pending before Honorable Justice Omotosho of the Federal High Court, Abuja Division, further amended the charges, including the courts, the name of all that is going on. We must make sure that everything is done properly. Mr. President must also look at not only Yahaya Bello, but every other corrupt person and everything, everyone has to be brought to book. Yahaya Bello is not the only person who should be looked at. For the sake of clarity, the original charge is against Ali, Ali Bello, the Suleiman Association, the offense which Yahaya Bello is alleged to have committed upon which he has been named in the count is a conspiracy to convert the total sum of 80 billion, which offense is said to have occurred in September 2015 and has nothing to do with Yahaya Bello. The conspirators and those who are working against the governor will be brought to book. EFCC desperation to nail Yahaya Bello, they forgot their thinking hat on at home. The count of the offense is most laudable as the election has produced Yahaya Bello as the governor, conducted in 2015, indeed captured Idris one day. PDP swung away as governor of Kogi State. We know exactly what is going on. They are going after Yahaya Bello, but we will prove it that he has done nothing wrong. So Kogi State government is going on, you know, and is speaking, you know, is speaking, you know, um, 
is speaking with terms of uh, the fact that they feel Yahaya Bello has not done anything, uh, that EFCC is just speaking on Yahaya Bello. Uh, people who are picking on him, uh, they will have themselves to blame and all that and all that and all that. So we just need the right thing to be done, okay? We need the right thing to be done so that Yahaya Bello, you know, if he has committed a crime, he'll be brought to full justice. But, but let's just even look at it more, more closely. Beside Yahaya Bello being brought to full justice, why do Nigerian government have immunity on them? Why do they have it? If they have committed a crime, they should be brought to book, right? Nobody should, you know, should say they, 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 they would leave them like that and, they, you know, no, if they have committed a crime, they must be brought to book. That's the truth. If they have committed a crime, they should be brought to book. So this is exactly what is happening and every single person is watching. So we cannot allow the same thing over and over again. We all know exactly what is going on. And if we keep lying to one another, we will see that there is need, okay, for the truth to be manifested. We know exactly what's happening. These people are doing whatever they can in order to put, you know, to put, uh, uh, to cover up. They are just doing whatever they can in order to cover up. It's a shame. It's a shame, most of the things that are going on, a real shame. And so it is important that every one of us look, up, look upon all of this very, very closely and ensure that the right things are done. So nobody should sit back there and think that, you know, all things will just fall in place if we do not do things correctly and right. You know, Yahya Bello himself knows exactly, you know, what he, even why he was the governor. There were cases of, you know, mistreatment. For instance, let's say the, the government workers need to be paid on the 25th. Yahya Bello will not pay. I mean, allegedly what we heard till on, uh, you know, for instance, till the second of the following month, you know, just to keep the money a, a bit in the bank to, to, to accrue some, you know, so, so, something for him. Why people are waiting for their salaries, you know, so these are some of the things that are happening, some of the things that are going on. And it is important, you know, we do not leave these things and we do not, uh, you know, just keep them aside and do, and, and do not speak. We must speak. We must speak. You know, so it is important. Anyway, my lovely, wonderful people, it, it is becoming crystal clear that things must be done decently and in order and we must move forward. Yes, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Bye for now.